Few players in the NFL are as electrifying as Christian McCaffrey, a player who redefines what it means to be a running back in today's game. From his jaw-dropping athleticism to his unparalleled versatility, McCaffrey is the ultimate offensive weapon. So how did Christian McCaffrey become so good? Born into a family of athletes, Christian McCaffrey was destined for greatness. His father, Ed McCaffrey, was a Super Bowl winning wide receiver. Ed was hard on Christian and his three brothers when they were kids. Christian said his father would even cut his pants to give him more knee flexibility when running. He had them doing dynamic warm-ups, no sodas, and bedtime at 7.30. He added that he was still allowed to go over friends' houses, but when it came to football and school, his father made sure he knew the levels required for really excel. Christian McCaffrey would eventually attend Regis Jesuit High School and then Baylor Christian High School. At Baylor, he played receiver and running back. He broke numerous high school records, including career touchdown receptions with 47, career total touchdowns with 141, and a single season all-purpose yards with 8,845 yards. In both 2012 and 2013, he was the Gatorade Football Player of the Year. ESPN had McCaffrey ranked as a four-star recruit. A few schools that offered him were Oregon, Ohio State, Michigan, and Stanford. McCaffrey would eventually choose Stanford and carve out a legacy of his own. McCaffrey had a breakout sophomore season in 2015. He surpassed Barry Sanders' NCAA record of 3,250 all-purpose yards, finishing with 3,864 yards. McCaffrey ranked second in the nation with 2019 rushing yards, becoming the first Stanford player to rush for over 2,000 yards in a single season. He also set numerous other Stanford records during the season, including 461 all-purpose yards in the Pac-12 championship against USC. McCaffrey was a consensus All-American and was the Associated Press College Football Player of the Year and the Pac-12 Player of the Year, and he also finished second to Alabama's Derrick Henry in the 2015 Heisman, who had similar success his junior year as he rushed for over 1,600 yards. During the 2016 Rose Bowl against Iowa, McCaffrey became the first player to rush for over 100 yards and to have over 100 yards receiving in the Rose Bowl game. Overall, he set a new Rose Bowl record with 368 all-purpose yards. He then declared for the NFL draft after having two great seasons. There wasn't too many questions about McCaffrey's ability to be a productive running back at the NFL level, but a few people questioned his speed and size, as he only weighed in at 202 pounds, which is pretty small for an NFL running back. But McCaffrey showed scouts he was fast enough, as he ran a 448 40-yard dash. In 2017, the Carolina Panthers selected McCaffrey with the eighth overall pick in the NFL draft. Expectations were high. He was more known for his pass catching ability as he had over 600 yards receiving. He quickly became a dual threat nightmare for defenses, amassing over 1,000 yards from scrimmage. But people still questioned his size as he seemed to struggle running up the middle. But yet again, McCaffrey proved his dollars wrong in 2018 as he rushed for over 1,000 yards while averaging 5 yards a carry to go along with 867 receiving yards. By 2019, McCaffrey had seen it to himself as one of the league's elite players becoming just the third player in NFL history to record 1,000 rushing yards and 1,000 receiving yards in a single season. But as with any great athlete, McCaffrey faced challenges. Injuries sidelined him for much of the 2020 and 2021 seasons, leaving fans to wonder if he could return to his former glory. Yet McCaffrey's resilience and determination has never been in question. His commitment to coming back stronger is a testament to his character and dedication to the game. In 2022, Carolina Panthers shot everyone. Breaking news on this Thursday night as Christian McCaffrey is on the move. Adam Schefter has tweeted out the details that the 49ers, who have been, I presume, in need of a running back, although, again, Jeff Wilson's certainly been capable through the years, has been filling in uh, as their starter, but now McCaffrey is headed west. A blockbuster trade sent McCaffrey to the San Francisco 49ers where he's continued to be a game changer. Whether it's catching passes, running the ball, or even throwing a touchdown pass, McCaffrey's versatility is unmatched. In 2023, McCaffrey pretty much dominated opposing defenses all season, as he led the NFL in rushing yards with 1,459 yards and scored a whopping 21 touchdowns. I'm sure he helped a lot of people win their fantasy championships. He was even recognized as the third best player in the NFL amongst his peers. With McCaffrey in the backfield, the 49ers offense has become even more dynamic and defenses around the league are taking notice. Christian McCaffrey's journey is far from over. As one of the most complete and exciting players in the NFL, his legacy continues to grow with every game, whether he's breaking tackles or breaking records. McCaffrey is a player who will be remembered for years to come. The only question that remains is what will he do next?